Hey everyone, it's Autumn. Today I wanted to sit down and kind of talk about what's been going on the last month and also discuss like when my videos are actually going up. So if you don't really care about any of this, you're welcome to like exit out and then just wait for my videos to come up. But I thought I would try on some makeup. I'm like swatting away like a fuzzy. Anyway, I'm gonna try on some makeup, just do my makeup for the day and kind of chat with you all. So let's go ahead and get started with some skincare. I just went in and washed my face and I actually had already started filming this and I didn't like the way that my makeup was like turning out. So I went and washed my face and we're gonna try again. So I am gonna put on a little bit of this moisturizing skin essence and um, I'll have everything linked below if you're curious about any of the products. But by the way, those links, most of them are um, affiliate links that um, I make either through Magic Links or is it like to know it? Either way, they're links that essentially I get a, like a small tiny commission. Um, so if that bothers you, you can like check out the product, but then like exit out and look for it yourself if you don't want me to earn any commission. But any commission that I do earn helps to support my channel. So, um, which by the way, any commission I've ever earned, I think it's either from myself or my friend Michelle who also uses my links. Um, and it's only been like, I think like $130 total. All right, and then I do wanna add a little bit of moisturizer here. Um, I wanna find something thin. You know what, I'm just gonna go in with this Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base and do like a super thin layer of it. But either way, so over the last month, I've I filmed videos and I have them edited and I'm just gonna end up putting them up on the same day if it's like the same video for like March and April. So my March and April Beauty Basket and Declutter videos will go up on the same day and um, my, uh, what's the other one? I wrote them down. My everyday makeup bags will go up on the same day and my empties slash budget videos will go up on the same day with one caveat. Normally I also include my haul and in those so you kind of see the money going in and coming out because I'm just like updating you guys on my low buy. But I was sick over the last month and when I'm sick and I'm bored, I literally online shop, but I still wanted to stay within my budget. And so I literally spent all of my Ulta and all of my Sephora points, and I had a huge haul from that. So that's gonna be a separate video, but essentially Sephora started doing in their rewards, like I would like save my rewards and I they were always sold out. Like I could never get anything. And then um, all of a sudden they had this deal going where, which I'm sure they still have it now because it would be dumb if they got rid of it. But essentially you could cash in like 25, is it 2,500 points for $100. So um, Ulta's point system is still way better because there's more multipliers and you get more money for your points. But I had so many points at Sephora, I was able to get $200 worth of stuff there. And I had so much stuff at Ulta that I was able to get like, it was over a thousand. I think it was actually $1,125 worth of stuff from Ulta. So I went ahead and I just ordered like all of my sunscreens and everything like that that I'll need for the summer, along with like my hair care and a few other things that I wanted to try. So that's gonna be a separate video. But back to me talking about being sick. So I was sick essentially the first week I started like working every day at work and it was like this cold that hung on for weeks and then I think now it's moved into allergies because spring has finally I guess sprung so once I started getting over that cold then my allergies crept in I have started taking allergy medicine and I do find that it's helping so that's a good thing I want to go in with a lighter foundation and I'm going to go in with this MAC Studio Radiance Face and Body I actually purchased this around the holidays when they were having all of those sales and stuff through Mac. Um, and I had every intention of doing a full face of Mac video. So I bought a ton of stuff when they were having like those 40% off sales through Mac. Um, but I haven't gotten around to it, surprise, surprise. 
So anyway, so this over this last month, I went a month without having a day off. So that went from like me working my regular job every single day and then having army on the weekends. And I even had some army through the actual week where I had to leave my day job. But I mean, it's still, I have been working every single day. And if any of you like know me in real life, you know that I, before the pandemic, I I was afraid to say it because like, I don't know, people have been calling it any other word that starts with a P. It's like they're afraid they're gonna be demonetized if they mention the pandemic. But anyway, before the pandemic, I did work every single day at my job. And then after we shut down for a while and then I was taking precautions, like, cause I didn't wanna go into work and get sick. I cut down to two days a week. And um, then somebody else started working the Monday, Wednesday, Friday, which is also cheaper in the place I work because we're now both part-time employees instead of having a full-time employee. Either way, so I kind of slipped back and then the person who took the Monday, Wednesday, Friday actually um, ended up having to have a surgery and so I had to go in and work every day for the last month because she had to recuperate. Um, so with that being said, I have been super busy Oh, and on top of that, before work, I am taking a course to kind of expand like what I can do at work and my licensure and all of that stuff. So like um, I've been studying in any of my free time that I have, which is not much free time at all. So because of that, I haven't been able to really post any YouTube videos. And if I ha had time to film them, which I did have time like a month ago and I was going to just like try to edit and put them up. I haven't had time to edit. So now my schedule is back to two days a week and I'm gonna be editing and putting things up, but they're gonna kind of be on the same day until I can actually get on like a decent schedule. So that makes sense. Like the like videos will be on the same day. I'll try to space them out though. Um, so you're not just watching a bunch of old videos with like actual like newer content. So this is new, I'm filming today, which is like what, April 16th? Is that what today is? Yeah, today's April 16th. So I'm filming this today and hopefully I can get it up today. And then um, everything else will be coming after. I can't believe I'm halfway through April and I haven't put up any of my March or April videos. <laughs> okay, so this feels so much different than the old face and body I had. The old face and body, like kind of like the more I would kind of like buff, it felt like it had like film formers in it, which I still feel them here, but it's just, this is just a thinner sort of formula that's not as glossy, it's more skin-like. It just feels completely different on the skin than the old one did, but that's fine. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of eye corrector and some of that on. Okay, so I have no idea what I was saying because I got another text, but <laughs> um, I think I was talking about this MAC foundation. It just feels completely different. So I do like though that it kind of evens things out, but I'm definitely gonna go in with concealer for this. And then also my skin is absolutely crazy and has been for um, probably the last two months. So which I explain in actually the videos that I've already filmed, but I'll just kind of let you know what's up here. So in March, I had pulled out in my beauty basket and I was like, I'm gonna give this Jones Road foundation like one last chance, right? And it's like they're what the foundation in the pot, even though you have to stir it and it was a mess and it had a smell. I'm like I'm gonna give it one last chance because I do like a nice sort of sheer formula. Um, it gave me like horrible cystic acne. And I used it probably for four or five days. And then I was just getting horrible bumps under the skin. And normally when I get them, they're like in the chin area. Cause I have like things going on around my mouth anyway. Like I have contact dermatitis, that sort of stuff, but that's always on the surface. But I was getting these horrible, like under the skin bumps, like even up here uh, where I would place it. And even like between here, which is pretty common though of like for oil production, things like that, but I was getting it here on my cheeks, um, which is usually a good indicator that something 
like is like some a product is causing it. So I um, have stopped using that. But then in April, I'm like, you know what? I need to try and use this Ulta MD sunscreen, and that like hard lumps under the skin from that as well. So I wonder if there's like a like ingredient in there or they just both like <laughs> broke me out independently. But th a couple years ago, well actually probably about 10 years ago, when I started getting into sunscreen and like beauty products and things like that, I knew that I should be using sunscreen because, um, you know, obviously it helps prevent wrinkles and s skin damage, right? And I wanted my skin to look nice, but like, I couldn't use much sunscreen at all because it would always break me out. So I had to choose. I'm like, do I want pimples or, you know, whatever. And then I discovered Asian beauty sunscreens. And then all of a sudden I stopped breaking out and I could protect my skin. So then everybody's raving about this Elta MD and I got it in like a derm store kind of beauty box which by the way, if you haven't gone on those, you, a lot of their skincare boxes are a great deal. But anyway, um, so I got it in there and I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it. Everybody's raving about it. It broke me out so bad. So it's currently hanging out in my declutter. I'll hand it to somebody that I know can use it. And now I'm back on my Asian sunscreen kick. All right. So before we do anything else, let's do the eyebrows. And why do I always say let's do it? Like you're, I mean, you're here with me, but like, obviously I'm doing it and it's my face. Um, anywho, I'm going to comb these bad boys up. So I haven't really changed the way I've done my brows in months. Um, but I don't know if I have like shown you guys. So I always go in first with like this Anastasia powder, which also the lid has come off here. Um, and I just kind of do a little bit of like shaping of the brow and underneath it with the, the powder first. And you don't have to be like too particular. I just like to get a good shape. And this brow powder is in the shade medium brown, which I like because it doesn't go like too orangey red. The, like the ones that go like that actually match my hair because my hair, you probably can't tell here, but my hair is like it has a, it leans red. So, but if I do my actual hair color on my brows, it shows up on my skin because my skin is light and like desaturated and it's super obvious. So I always like to go a little bit cooler in the brows, but like not so cool as to where it's gray. So I just find that this is a good, although this looks pretty gray, um, but I just find that it's a good option for me. So anyway, I'm painting this under first and just giving a good shape. Okay, so I feel like this is shaped pretty good now, although I feel like this one looks good and then this one's like, it's sad. We'll put a little bit more under here, I think. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. Um, so then after this, I go in with my clear brow gel. I've been using this NYX one. I really like it. You kind of have to put it there and then not go over it though because this brow glue like gets really like, well, it's called glue. It gets really sticky and if you put too much in, you can like see the product in your eyebrow. And you probably see here, I put it in and it I've kind of created myself a little, um, bald spot here and that's okay because we're going to go in and fill it in with a pencil after. But it just looks so much more real like putting that on um, after filling in with the powder like it kind of brings the eyebrows back to life. And then I kind of just go in and reshape with a pencil after just to kind of put that shape back in. So this is I don't even know how to pronounce this. R A A R, RAR. <laughs> and this is the shade Ash Presso. I don't know. Again, I'll have everything linked. So I'm going to leave. So I'm just going to put this right here on the under part where I kind of like made a bald spot. And I'm not particular about the pencil I use to fill it in as long as it's like a good match for me. 
and I actually like slightly different colors too to kind of put a little bit of dimension into the brow. And I'm gonna go in here because this eyebrow doesn't come in as far as this one does. So I kind of like to even them out a little bit. Okay, I should probably leave them alone at this point. I feel like the more you do, you, you hit a certain point and then the more you do, the worse it gets. Okay, I'm gonna put some lip balm on because my lips are feeling dry. And I'll try this one. My friend Amy recently went to, which I'll have her Instagram and YouTube linked below, but then also um, probably have something here on the screen. But anyway, my friend Amy, who has a YouTube channel here, like I just mentioned, she, um, let me get the foundation off my lips. She went to France and she knew that this was like the regular Nooks was like my favorite lip balm. She got me the very rose version. And this I find, I need to get like a Q-tip. This I find is not as thick as the the one that I have and that I like to wear to bed. That one's kind of like waxy and you kind of have to really work it in, you know, for the oils to penetrate. This one I find to be kind of a mix between that and then the Laneige sleeping mask, like lip sleeping mask. Okay, let's go again. But this is nice just for like a, as an everyday balm, but it's definitely not as thick as the original. So let's pull out this Laguna. I think this is the lighter one and just see how I feel about it. There's not going to be much more time that I'm going to be able to use this lighter one, at least this year. I mean, it's not too, too light, but I find that the darker one, the coloring, at least for me, is a little bit more realistic. Like I like the depth of this one, but something about it almost seems kind of opaque. Whereas in when I work in the slightly darker one, which mind you, this is from when it was a limited edition release. So maybe they've changed the formula. I wonder, does this one still? This one smells strongly of Coke, like it's like perfumed, like a tropical scent. And I don't know, I'm not smelling it as much in this one, but either way. So this color shears out a little bit better and looks more natural. Whereas, and I find there's a little bit of coverage with this one. So I have to be careful because I find that it can look just a little bit like, I don't know, put on. Almost, see how it looks just a little bit kind of like, I don't know. This might be my sign to just let it go. <laughs> I like the fact that it's lighter though, but the formula just kind of seems a bit different. Here, I'll kind of show, so here it is. See how it's like opaque? And then the this one. I don't know, they both look opaque there, but here. Yeah, this one shears out so much better. So this is the darker one. And then that is the lighter one. Do you see how that one kind of looks a little chalky almost? I was thinking that I should get it out because my skin's gonna deepen because I don't know if you guys know this, but like my favorite thing to do in the summer is go on super long bike rides and no matter how much sunscreen I wear on my face, I still get sun. I'm gonna give this to somebody who is a little bit more fair than I am. This also leans super cool. So you just witnessed a declutter. All right, so yeah, not loving. I'm definitely gonna have to go in and warm this up somehow, but it just feels like I've put on a cream foundation that's slightly too dark in certain areas of my face. All right, let's you know. put on a little bit of eye primer and figure out what we're gonna do with or what I'm gonna do with my eyes. So here's the thing. I have been loving just like something light on the eye, not a whole lot on there. And then I feel bad because I have all of these eyeshadows and I feel like I need to put something on my eye. So, um, and I kind of go through the, this phase like back and forth, but like, because my face is so desaturated, I find that I look bizarre with a ton of color on my eye, like I like a hint. And then once I put a ton of color on my eye and to fix my face, I feel like I need to put like a lot of bronzer on and like deepen my face to make it make sense. So we're still gonna go in though and do some eyeshadows. We're gonna test this that I got with my Ulta Points, which I got the other ones with Ulta Points too, but this is a Chanel Quad. And this is the Tisse Essential. 
it's the 28 what is it 266 and and I'll post what it looked like online but it didn't look this muted and cool these almost look chalky in the pan so I'm just gonna see how they perform on the eye and this again also would probably suit whoever I'm gonna be giving the NARS to just because it's kind of like that sort of like creamy cool sort of look so I'm first gonna go in with this one right here And which this formula also seems a little bit different from the other formulas that I have from Chanel. So let's put this on. I actually, I like this color. I did like a hand swatch of them and the, the gray, it's like gray and purple almost, but this one actually is like a good everyday shade. So maybe I will get use out of this. I mean, I would like to just leave this shade on the lid and move on. But I feel like I need to test the other shades too. So we're gonna, but I'm also gonna take this under. This is great for like an everyday sort of moody shadow look. I'm gonna go in with my finger and kind of brighten up right here and see how I feel about that. Maybe use like a smaller, use a smaller brush and kind of just dust it in and brighten up the inner corner. These are super dusty though, which is kind of shocking because my other Chanel quads are not like this. Which I wonder, because I think this might be the only Chanel quad I've purchased at Ulta, and this is like a whole conspiracy theory, but do you think that maybe they changed the quality to sell in Ulta since like, I mean, I bought this with points. I ought to buy a quad that I have already with points or just from Ulta at some point, but not anytime soon because I'm not supposed to be buying anything. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go in with this sort of smoky gray. And so it's weird because grays and blacks, I found even though I'm wearing a gray shirt, don't look amazing on me unless they are a warmer gray or a warmer black. Like, do you know how like some gray or a lot of blacks, especially black eyeliners, when you kind of smear them out, they kind of fade to a blue. Like the cool sorts of, I guess, blacks. Those don't look as good on me. But if it's a super, super dark brown black, or if it has like a hint of red, like those obviously look better on me and I probably should eat breakfast at some point because my stomach is like growling and making noise and then I have to pause and I'll be editing <laughs> out sounds of my stomach. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with this sort of purpley shade here and hopefully it does not ruin my look. Although it, it doesn't look too, too bad. I'm gonna go and just put it on a fluffy brush and then kind of dust it over to kind of blend everything. And I will say that all together, I don't hate this eye look, but I actually, I think, prefer this eye look with the first shade I put on and just like leave it. So that's how I prefer this quad, but this isn't bad. I am gonna go back over though with that brown and kind of just blend everything with it and go up into the crease. So, all right, that was in my beauty basket, which you will see because I got it, but then I also wasn't sure if I was gonna keep it. So one thing I will say, it was, look how messy it is just for me using it. But the eye look is actually pretty solid. So this is like a good one. I would say if I had army and I needed something kind of subdued, or this is like a good like, day to night kind of quad like since everything is nice and sheer you can definitely build it up though so i like it there is actually watch i'm gonna gonna ruin <laughs> my look now a sephora shadow that i've been holding on to and this is in the shade twinkle twinkle and i think i'm just gonna add a little bit of glitter on the lid 
How, what in the world? Is there, does this come out? I don't know. It seems like all loose in here, but I think that these actually come out because there's like a, I don't know. It's weird. There's like little divots right there. So I'm thinking that comes off so you can kind of detach this like just put it in a palette. But so on its own, if I put it on the lid, it's got a lot more shine to it. And I think it's because it can stick to the oils or whatever primer you put on. If you already have eyeshadow on like I do now, it's even more subtle, but I don't dislike it. And I do want to go in with a brown eyeliner, which reminds me the last couple days I've been like testing out this little Estee Lauder double wear eyeliner that I got. And this is one of those blacks that kind of fade to blue. And this washes me out, makes me look crazy. So not like washes me out, but I don't know. It, it's just so very like stark on my face. So I'm getting rid of that. I'm going to put this, which is a ColourPop creme gel liner in the shade Show Me. And it is kind of just a shiny bronze kind of brown. And I like putting those along the lash line just to kind of brighten up the eye. Especially if an eye look I think leans a little cool, it kind of adds that warmth back that I think looks a little bit better on me. Yeah, that looks like so much better in my humble opinion. Um, I'm gonna curl my lashes, but maybe not do mascara quite yet because I wanna do my other face stuff. So I haven't really used this a whole lot. So we're gonna go in and use it. And I like everything in this palette. This is my favorite out of all three of the holiday palettes. But I'm first gonna go in with, let me swatch the blushes. Yes, so I'm first gonna go in with this one right here. And kind of put it up on my cheeks. I had to use, I'm gonna use this blush brush. There we go. These blushes I think just look so natural. And I am gonna go in with a little bit of the darker one, the marbled one just right there and like not blend it out as much. And then using the same brush, I'm gonna go in, this is diffused, and I'm just gonna kinda of go along the eyes and around the edges with it. It has like a yellow sort of tone. I've used up two of these in full size and I'm like out of it. So at some point, I know I'm gonna probably replace it, but I have so much stuff to get through right now, I'm just gonna use this one in here, okay. And then I want to go through and right under the eyes use the almost white one, which is an ethereal light. I'm going to go in there and then just brighten up the under eye. And I'm going to go in with the highlighter here, which I'm hoping, it, which I'm hoping is not like too dark for me right now. But I'll go lightly and we'll see. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad, but I am going to have to blend it. So then I'm going to go in with this right here and go over that highlighter, which should, yep, it lightened it like a lot. I'll have to blend. Okay. So at this point, because that bronzer was kind of so pale, I feel like I need something to add warmth back on my face and hopefully I don't regret it, but I'm going to go in with the Chanel oversized powder. I think this was like their holiday maybe possibly new year collection that's got the little chanel like thing on there but this sort of like all over face highlighting powder leans very warm and i'm just gonna warm up my face a little bit and add some glow with it might regret it but i'm gonna go in with this really big brush here and then just kind of go around oh yeah maybe probably should have gone in that ham but I can always blend the nose. All right, so I'm going to use some finishing spray here. Um, so I used a lot of Hourglass products a lot. I literally just used the palette, but since I did use it, I am going to use their finishing spray. And then I'm going to go in with some mascara. So 
My favorite that I've been using is this Say mascara. Um, everything else has been disappointing to me <laughs> recently, so I'm gonna just hop in and throw some of this on. And this is just one coat, and I feel like it just does such a good job on my lashes. I will go in with a second coat since I do have like a, I don't know, I wouldn't call this like a full on smoky eye, but it's like a daytime kind of smoky eye situation. So I will put some of that, or, so I will add um, more mascara. All right, and then we're just gonna go in and do lips. I don't really know what I think is gonna look good. Okay, well, I'm just gonna start off with a lip liner and then I'll figure it out because this is like my go-to everyday lip liner. And I've really been loving stains. Sometimes I put the stain on first and then go in with the lip liner. You know what, I'm gonna try this Peri Para. It's like a brownie kind of stain. Yeah, I think that looks nice. By the way, this is in the shade 15. Um, and it's mood, I think. Or do they all say mood? Yeah, they all say mood. So they have numbers, but then they have actual like names, but they all have something to do with acorns. So this must be from like their fall collection or something. Okay, and then I am gonna put on a little bit of lip gloss. So I have decided, because I have a problem with not wanting to use clear lip glosses over like lip products, because I think it's gross and then like they get all gross but I have this cheap NYX gloss that I got in um, a free gift with purchase from Ulta. And so this is gonna be my designated gloss that can get gross. And there we have it. So this is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed catching up with me. There are going to be more videos coming up. I literally have hundreds of video ideas and I just do not have the time. So I'm gonna really try to focus on it. But this actually, we're also coming into my busy season for ARMY, so we're gonna see what happens. Um, either way, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.